behalf of uh, Kevin Process Technologies Private Limited and my colleague uh, Mr. Rao Saab Rathod. Unfortunately, due to certain unavoidable circumstances, he is not able to uh, present this seminar. So I'm representing him on his behalf. I will be conducting this. Uh, today in this session, we are going to talk about coating processes. Uh, to start with, I will uh, talk about bird coating technology offered from Kevin. Uh, let me give you some introduction here. The fruit bed process often is used for powder granules, uh, uh, drying for batch granulation for agglomeration of powder products and spraying of spray coating of pellets. Fruit bed process includes three patterns of spraying based on position, location, and the location of the renewable that is top spray, bottom spray, or tangential spray. Uh, uh, for coating, we do all know that bottom spray, that is rooster coating, is very popular in the industry for active layering and for coating to modify or control the drug release. Park, park. Yes. yes, sure. Just, just do do full screen. Full screen, okay. One second. Go for full screen. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Now, okay. Okay. Uh, now uh, I'll talk about process flow gran for granulation and coating. As you can see in the slide, uh, the initial stage is solution preparation, then sifting of your powder or pellets, then uh, preheating, uh, followed by spraying, then drying, then cooling of the granules or pellets, then again sifting and blending. Uh, for bottom spray rooster coating, the process is that the hot, hot air is passed through the fluid bed particulate material are then lifted in the air stream. Solution and suspension uh, is sprayed on the fluidized bed for pellets coating. Why you go for rooster coating? The, there are several reasons that you opt for to mask unpleasant taste or odors of the tablet of the powder. For product identification, to enhance the stability like to act, for an example, to act as a moisture barrier, to modify or control drug release and to improve product flowability. The next slide, it, we have just shown a principle uh, with the basic steps involved in fluid bed coating, that is spraying, then followed by wetting, recrystallization, coated particles and film formation. Uh, during that process, as you can see. Going on to next, uh, uh, just give you an idea about the types of coating that uh, people offer for is seal coating, drug coating, barrier coating, and trick coating and film coating. In this uh, diagram, we have shown the process of the bottom spray for fluidized bed coating. As you can see, the inlet is passed from the bottom to the rooster column, and the pellets are lying on the bottom of the product container, then they are lifted up in the air, and then the spray is done through the help of spraying gun, which gives you effective uh, coating of pellets. Uh, the unique features of bottom spring are an air distribution plate partition of column. The nozzle is mounted at the bottom of the product container is centered and is centered in the coating zone. The short distance between the coating materials and particles during the coating process minimizes the spray drying and contributes to high coating uniformity and results in efficient coating. Uh, most of the air is channeled through the center wire tube, as such, producing a venture effect which sucks the product from outside the partition and then travels to the column. Spray nozzle leaving the cylindrical partition and entering the conical expansion chamber. 
the particle velocity is dramatically reduced and the red particles comes down outside the column. Excess moisture is rapidly evaporated with the dry product and returning again and again to the coating zone to receive uh, more coating material. There are some common problems which uh, do occur in food by coating. And we have just shown you the effects and reasons of remedy. I'll go to that. Uh, the, if, the first one is agglomeration, in which effects in low yield and variation in release pattern found due to change in surface area and results in patch failure. Uh, the reason for such occurrence is due to the high spray rate, lower uh, airflow, gun blockage, low in inlet tank flow. Remedy here actions are to control and optimize the spray rate, air flow rate, and inlet temperature. Uh, then static charges, uh, which does occur during the full bed coating. Effects are uh, sluggishness in bed, agglomeration even at low spray rate, sticking of pellets to the conductive surface. This occurs due to lower moisture content in the product and a high product temperature and dry inlet air. The remedial actions to uh, get rid of this static charge is that moisture is conductive of liquid. So by increasing the moisture in the inlet air, this will decrease the static charge. Major components of the machine, uh, inlet air handling unit, inlet air chamber, product container, for top and bottom spray, expansion chamber, filter bag, filter bag lifting and shaking and sealing device, exhaust blower, exhaust filter housing, top and bottom spray gun arrangement, pedal static pump, which is trolley mounted. Uh, just go through some unique features of our cabin FPC, unique airflow design. Our uh, airflow is designed in a which way that 100% uh, air is being utilized for drying of the materials. Uh, we provide bowls for interchangeability, bowls suitable for top spray as well as bottom spray and drying of the batch is being provided. Spraying gun, we use anti bedding and self clinic types, US makes, uh, which is a, a spraying system, make uh, guns in our FPCs. Plenum design, a design which reduces the change over time that is easy to clean. And different air displacement places, plates are available. Now we go on to auto coaters, which we have developed. Uh, first of all, I'll go through why tablet coating. Tablet coating is the application of a coating material to the exterior of tablets with the intention of uh, conferring benefits and properties to a dosage form from over the uncoated variety. Tablet coated with mixture of various substances such as resins, gums, inactive and insoluble filter, sugar, waxes, etc. There are three types of equipments available for coating. Standard conventional coating pens, perforated pen system, uh, which are mostly used in auto coaters and fluidized bed coating systems. Now, types of coating. Uh, seal coating, sugar coating, film coating, and electric coating. In seal coating, it is done by applying a polymer-based water imperial coating solution, either by landing or spray techniques. The polymer which are normally used are natural gums like shellac, acacia, or derivatives of cellulose like cellulose acetate, uh, uh, phthalate, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. In sugar coating, uh, which is the most conventional multi-step coating process, as the name suggests, this process involves application of sugar-based coating solutions to the tablet. It is carried out in coating pens having variable capacities. Uh, sugar and its substituents, which are normally used are glucose, lactose, isomalt, sugar alcohols, binders like acacia, gelatin, PVP are added, coloring agents like water-soluble dyes or water-insoluble that is like are used anti adherent material like talcum and colloidal silica is being used. Fillers like starch and talcum are being used. Polishing agent normally used are beeswax, 
gamma boa wax and paraffin other agents like flavoring agents and surfactants are being used in sugar coating coming to film coating film coating involves an application and deposition of a thin film of polymer solution around the tablet coat single step process which involves spraying a coating solution on the tablets the solution is sprayed on to a rotating tablet bed followed by drying which facilitates the removal of the solvent leaving behind the deposition of thin film of coating materials around each tablet film coating uses raw materials like Uh, polymers, solvents, plasticizers, and colorants. Uh, now I'll go through about uh, enteric coating. The technique involved in entering enteric coating is protection of the tablet core from disintegration in the acidic environment of the stomach by employing pH-sensitive polymers, which swell or soluble lies in the response to an increase in pH to release the drug. Uh, the aims for providing enteric protection are protection of active ingredients from the acidic environment of the stomach of a human being protection from local irritation in the stomach no mucosa release of active ingredients in specific target areas within the gastrointestinal tract and enteric coating uh, uses following materials like cellulose acetate uh, ethylate cellulose acetate trimethylate hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose polyvinyl acetate butyrated sodium alginate here in this uh, next slide which we have shown is the normal uh, design and layout of an autocoder typical autocoder where you can see on the right hand corner uh, on the service area your ahu is placed in the after filtering the air through three filters uh, the inlet air is passed into the machine a uh, coater and coating is done inside the coater uh, the with a perforated fan and then exhaust uh, air is blown out into the air and there is an exhaust blower and also we provide scrubbers if required to clean the air which has been thrown in the environment Uh, uh just i will talk about the cabinet machine cabinet with perforated coating the pan house consists of a rotating pan with perforation on its periphery periphery this perforated surface allows the hot air to pass through the pan is rotated via motor gear box drive with suitable sealing uh, temperature bed temperature sensor is mounted on the measure to measure the temperature of the bed during the process Baffles are provided to move the tab tablets in a uniform pattern for achieving uniform coating. Uh, we provide different uh, design of baffles to achieve uniform coating as per your requirement. That is, habit air type of baffles as well as Ultimax type of uh, baffles. Uh, we do provide interchangeable pens for uh, fulfilling different batch sizes up to forty-eight inch of uh, pen size. Uh, now i will talk about some common defects that occur during the tablet coating uh the first one is peaking and sticking uh in detail that is removal of piece of tablet from the core tablet uh, the reasons behind this are overweighting low drying poor tablet quality in the remedy elections are to reduce the spray rate increase the air volume and uh, inlet temperature And also reduce the speed of the pen that is the RPM of your uh, pen. Second is bridging. In this uh, localized filling happens. Uh, the reasons behind this is high solid concentration, high viscosity of solution, low atomization, higher spray rate, and poor design of tablet embossing. The remedy elections are. Uh, high atomization minimum spray rate dilute the coating solution the concentration of film forming agent to be increased and increase the speed of the pen uh, third is capping in which the tablet separates in a laminar fashion 
uh, this occurs mainly due to over uh, heating over preheating high hardness and compression problems during the compression of tablets uh, the remedial actions are to reduce preheating time and jog that is on and off time to optimize the settings for your uh, coating uh, next is twinning in which uh, this occurs mainly in capsule shaped tablets that stick to each other while coating the reason behind this are high spray rate and minimum rpm remedies are to optimize the spray rate and optimize the tablet movement and mixing and the fifth point is filling and frost uh, that is film separation of the tablet this occurs mainly due to the high moisture content of core low viscosity of the solution higher spray rate over mixing of tablets low atomization press minimum gun to bed temperature and high film forming core the remedial actions suggested are to increase the preheating time uh, to achieve to set the high atomization rate lower the spray rate reduce the film format concentration and dilute the solution uh, continuing onwards uh, there are sometimes uh, there is defect in coating called chipping these are the small fragments of tablets which occur during the coating this mainly occurs due to high pen rpm and lower hardness or low or high friability the remedial actions are to reduce or lower down the pen speed that is the rpm and initiate high spray rate uh, next is mottled color a dark color spots on tablets occur while coating this is due to the poor mixing of color or your uh, solutions uh, remedial actions are to uh, mix the color through in a colloidal mill which provides uniformity of uh, the solution filtration of solution and then next is orange peel tablet textures like orange uh, this occurs due to the high spray rate and atomization uh, remedial action is to reduce the spray rate and atomization uh, then uh, erosion occurs soft tablets uh, this occurs due to the softer tablets uh, high temperature in and lower spray rate and higher cfm uh, remedial actions are to uh, increase the spray rate and lower down the temperature in cfm uh, the last one is shade variation there are, might be different uh, variation in the shades of the tablets in the coating uh, this is because of the non uniform distribution of the solution low load and lower spray time Uh, the remedial actions suggested are to have minimum load should be at least that 60% of the occupancy of the capacity of the machine uh, milling of the color to colloidal mill and uh, slowing down the spray rate and that's it uh, for our side thank you for uh, attending the seminar we welcome you to visit us and contact us for any of your future coating requirements uh, our address details are there you can see on our website as well uh, www.cabin.in thanks a lot thank you zalak uh, i am done okay